Ever wondered why some guys have women chasing them like they're the last slice of pizza at a party? Well buckle up because today we're diving into the psychology of attraction and revealing how you too can become that irresistible slice of pizza. Welcome to the world where men are not just men, they're the ultimate men. The kind that makes women's hearts flutter and their minds whirl. How do they do it? Is it a secret sauce, a magic potion, or just plain old good looks? Despite what you might think, none of these are the key ingredient. The real secret lies in understanding the intricate labyrinth that is a woman's psychology. Now before you start thinking this is some sort of mind control technique, let me assure you it's not. It's about learning to understand women, their wants, their needs, and their desires. It's about harnessing the power of empathy and emotional intelligence to connect with women on a deeper level. Imagine you're a hacker, but instead of breaking into a computer system, you're trying to decode the complicated algorithm of the female mind. Sounds daunting, right? But fear not, with the right tools and strategies, it's not only possible but also incredibly rewarding. Think of it like being a chef. To create a mouth-watering dish, you need to understand the ingredients, their flavors, and how they interact with each other. Similarly, to attract women, you need to understand their nature, their emotions, and how they react to different situations. But remember, while it's all about understanding, it's also about respect. No one likes a chef who mishandles ingredients and no woman likes a man who disrespects her feelings. We'll be diving deep into this topic, exploring various aspects of women's psychology, and giving you practical tips on how to apply them in your everyday life. From the art of confidence to the power of mystery, the charm of humor, and the art of listening, we've got you covered. So, if you're ready to step into the shoes of the ultimate man, the one who understands, respects, and attracts women effortlessly, you're in the right place. Stay tuned, because we're about to spill the beans on how to become the ultimate man that women can't resist. So, what's the first ingredient in our secret sauce? Confidence, and no, we're not talking about the I can lift a car kind of confidence. Now let's get this straight. Confidence in this context isn't about how many bench presses you can do or how many mountains you've climbed. It's not about boasting about your bank account or the size of your shoe collection. No, it's much more subtle and dare I say sophisticated than that. You see, true confidence is about being comfortable in your own skin. It's about walking into a room and not feeling the need to prove anything to anyone. It's about knowing your worth, and not letting anyone's opinion sway that. It's about being okay with making mistakes and not being perfect. Because guess what? Nobody is. Let's use an example. Picture this. You're at a party, and you see a woman you're interested in. Now, a not-so-confident guy might try to impress her with big words or brag about his latest business venture. But a confident man? He just enjoys the conversation, he listens, he engages, and he's not afraid to be himself. He doesn't need validation because he validates himself. And here's the secret, women can smell confidence. Not the cocky, I'm better than you kind of confidence, but the quiet, self-assured kind. The kind that says, I'm comfortable with who I am, and I don't need to put anyone down to feel good about myself. Now I'm not saying it's easy, it takes practice and a lot of self-love. But the payoff? It's worth it. Because when you're confident, you attract people to you. You become like a magnet, drawing them in with your self-assured energy. And trust me, that's a lot more attractive than any six-pack or luxury car. So how do you exude this kind of confidence? Start by accepting yourself, warts and all. Embrace your quirks, your flaws, your strengths, and your weaknesses, because they make you, you, and you, my friend, are pretty awesome. Remember, confidence isn't about showing off, it's about being comfortable in your own skin, Next up we're talking about the power of mystery. Scene script. Ever heard the saying, always leave them wanting more? Well, turns out it's not just a saying, it's a psychological hack. Now let's dive into the intriguing world of mystery. Picture this, you're reading your favorite novel, and you just can't put it down. You're dying to know what's on the next page, that's the power of mystery. It's a psychological magnet that pulls you in, makes you curious and keeps you engaged. And guess what? The same principle applies to the dating world. When you're a bit of a mystery, you're like that page-turner novel. The woman you're interested in will want to know more about you, will want to turn the page, so to speak. But here's the secret sauce. You've got to find that sweet spot between being mysterious and being aloof. So, how do you maintain a sense of mystery without seeming uninterested? It's quite simple. You share, but not too much. You engage, but you also hold back a bit, you give away enough to keep the interest peaked, but not so much that the whole story is revealed. It's like a game of poker, you don't want to show all your cards at once. Let me give you an example. 
Suppose you're an astronaut. Now you don't want to start the conversation with, hey, I'm an astronaut. Instead, you could say something like, well, I work in a field that's out of this world. And then let her guess, let her ask questions. That's how you create intrigue and maintain a sense of mystery. It's important to remember that being mysterious doesn't mean being secretive or deceptive. It's about sparking curiosity and keeping things interesting. It's about creating a narrative that keeps the other person engaged and wanting to know more. But here's a word of caution. Don't overdo it. You don't want to come off as aloof or distant. You want to be interesting, not confusing. Ladies love a good mystery, but remember there's a fine line between being mysterious and being downright confusing. What's the one thing that can make even the grumpiest person crack a smile? Humor. And guess what? Women love it. Now I'm not saying you need to be the next Kevin Hart, but a good sense of humor can go a long way in the dating world. It's like a secret weapon that can make you stand out from the crowd. You see, humor is a universal language. It breaks down barriers and builds connections. It's a social glue that binds us together. But how can you use humor to your advantage? Well, it's all about finding the right balance. You want to be funny, but not offensive. You want to be charming, but not inappropriate. Let's break it down with a few examples, shall we? Imagine you're at a coffee shop with a woman you're interested in. You notice she's drinking a latte. Here's what not to do. Don't say something like, wow, you must really love milk to order a latte. That's not funny, it's just weird. Instead, you might say something like, I see you're a latte lover. I've heard it's a sign of sophisticated taste. Now, that's light. It's funny. And it's a compliment. Another example. Let's say you're out for a walk and it starts to rain. Don't say, this is God's way of telling us we should have stayed in. That's negative and not particularly funny. Instead, you could say, well, looks like we're getting the true romantic movie experience minus the dramatic background music. This is humorous, lighthearted, and it turns an inconvenient situation into a shared experience. Now remember, humor is subjective. What one person finds funny, another might not. So it's important to pay attention to her reactions. If she's laughing and engaging with your jokes, you're on the right track. If not, it might be time to switch up your style. So the next time you're trying to impress a lady, remember to crack a joke or two. But keep it classy, guys. Want to know the quickest way to a woman's heart? It's not through her stomach, it's through her ears. Now you might be thinking, great, I already have ears, I'm halfway there. Well, not so fast, cowboy. It's not just about having ears, but about using them. Listening, my friend, is an art form. Consider this scenario. You're at a restaurant with a woman. She's talking about her day, her work, her interests. You, on the other hand, are wondering if you left the stove on at home. Or worse, you're planning your next charming line to impress her. Sorry to break it to you, but you're doing it all wrong. Listening is about being present, about showing interest. It's about letting her know that her words, her thoughts, her feelings matter to you. But here's the kicker. It's not just about nodding your head and throwing in the occasional uh-huh or really. That's being passive, not a listener. A good listener engages. Ask questions related to what she's saying, show surprise, laugh at her jokes, share your thoughts. But remember, it's not about turning the conversation to you. It's about making her feel seen, heard, appreciated. Why is this so important? Because everyone craves to be understood. When you listen to a woman genuinely listen, you're telling her that you value her, that you're interested in her, not just her looks or her cooking skills or her ability to laugh at your jokes. And here's a secret. Women have a sixth sense. They can tell when a man is genuinely interested and when he's just waiting for his turn to speak. So, don't just act like you're listening, be the listener. So there you have it, the ultimate guide to hacking a woman's psychology. Remember the key is confidence, mystery, humor, and listening. But most importantly, be genuine. No woman likes a faker. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We have really good videos.